Welcome back to Eureka Farms for episode 16 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's 7.05 on another glorious and sunny morning here on Eureka Farms. A couple of things have happened overnight. The money should be higher than it is. As you've already seen, biogas plant paid out. For all the um, silage we sold, we got 465,174, which is wonderful. But then I bought a fourth harvester. Never, I've never done four. Never done four. We got a fourth harvester with header. We'll have a look at those. Maybe not in this episode, but in another one. Uh, what else do we do? Oh yeah, shelter. As you can see, they're under a shelter because a couple of people commented and said, "Normally, I'm as, as OCD as the next man." And but having watched a lot of Mike Mitchell recently, and their equipment sort of lined up in rows and stuff. Not all of it's undercover. I kind of did a little bit like, yeah, put it all out in the open. And a few people said not having it under shelters or in buildings and stuff was driving them a bit bonkers. So I thought, you know what? That's what we'll do. I've cleared the area here, moved all the vehicles and stuff out of the way. We're going to have some other shelters put up. Just open shelters, but so we can put some machinery under. That's going to happen under there. Milk prices are pretty good. We will check the animals. Oh, sugar production is going great. We've almost got a full pallet of laminate boards as well. Cows up to 422 in that one, so 22 new births. Milk's up to 97,000 litres again. Manure's picking up again, which is great. In that one, six new births, and we've got 35,000 litres of milk. So we've got enough for a couple, yeah, about a couple, yeah, two probably, two runs. One full, one maybe not, and the milk price is looking good. So what we're going to do, it's 1839 and rising. I don't know whether or not to leave it to reach its peak before delivering some milk. You know what I am going to? I'm going to wait a little while. Because the next thing we're going to do, as you probably already have realised from the uh, title. Now you've seen me do mowing before, and again, I've done mowing with all different bits of equipment. And I think on some maps and stuff, whatever, and farms I've done, I've probably leased one of these. I've now got two. I'm going to buy a third. I've got the money. Why not? Welcome to Motown. We are going to... Um, yeah, I'm going. We got all that new grass. I am really curious to see how much grass we get off all of that new massive expanse, and here around the farm. So let's jump straight in that. Let's get ourselves another one of those. Should we get one of those? It might take a bit longer. Let's buy one of those. Oh, the other thing I was going to do. I suddenly thought I haven't I haven't done is. Uh, let's repay some of the loan. Got the money sitting there. Let's get it down to 100,000. I mean, I could probably... Oh, I'm going to pay off the whole thing. Why not? Money's there. Let's pay it off. Loan's repaid. So the money I took out initially to cover the cost of buying all the cows, that was a few episodes back now, that's done. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and grab the new mower. I'm going to cut all the grass around the farm. Hopefully by the time I've done that... The price of milk should be a bit higher. Then I'm going to set all three mowers off on that massive expanse. We will be collecting all this for hay. You may have seen me do that before. 
depends whether you're new to this series, whether you're new to my channel or not. Um, but a lot of what you will see me doing on this may not be available to you. If you already have Eureka Farms and it's saying you need to update it, don't update the map. I've had a few people message me asking me why all their stuff's gone. I have mentioned it a few times on this Let's Play. I also mentioned it a couple of times on mod reviews when I was doing the update video, you know, talking about updates. All the updates to TNT Modding's maps are all to remove unrealistic equipment. If you want to keep your unrealistic equipment, don't update. If you haven't got the map installed and you're watching this Let's Play thinking, I want to play that, unfortunately at this point now, you won't have any of the unrealistic gear because that's now been taken out, um, which is a, is a pity. I wanted to carry on doing this. I mean, all that being said, at the moment, I'm not doing anything unrealistic. I'm just using the standard in-game mowers and a few bits and bobs. But there are going to be some things I do now moving forward, which will be the capacities of some of the vehicles, um, the loading wagon that collects like half a field at a time. But again, like I say, sorry to anyone who doesn't have that available. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start. Now it doesn't matter with this whether I do swath dropping or not. I'm going to come across to about. We'll try it about there and see how we go. Turn it on. We'll drop it down. Now this is a standard mower, but again, if you want to do a bit of fast mowing, if I now L1 and double click X, it kind of lifts it, but kind of doesn't. That way we can mow at the full speed of the vehicle. If you want to. You don't have to, but you can if you want to. So I'm going to mow everything I can around the yard first. And then I'll get onto the other field as well. Because I want to see all three. I've, like I say, I've, this is what I'm enjoying about doing this map, this farm. And I know I'm repeating myself over and over again, and it's one of the reasons I'm loving it so much and having so much fun on here. I'm doing stuff on a scale that I haven't done before. Now, I could I could do that without having all of the, the gear. It would take me a bit longer. Contracts are a lot quicker and easier to do when you're using large capacity gear. Why is that not mowing out to the edge? That's weird. It normally does. It's weird how sometimes it will mow fine one way, but not another. Yeah, so mowing this way is fine, but mowing the other way it's not. Weird. Yeah, I mean, when you're using large capacity stuff, when you've got a harvester that's got a 500,000 litre tank, and you can leave it running knowing on a massive field you haven't got to keep coming back and unloading it, yeah, it makes a huge difference to how you go about doing your work and that kind of stuff. But... Like I say, I haven't run a farm with four harvesters for that reason. Normally three, trying to unload three and keep three going and going back and forth to your sell point is difficult enough with the capacities of vehicles and stuff like that. When you've got larger capacity gear, you know that if you've got a million litre capacity trailer, it's not going to fill up. Well, it's going to fill up at some point, you know what I mean though. That's better. So hopefully, in a little while, once this is all done, the uh, shelters should be up. I mean, they're a bolt-together structure, and the roofs go on the top. Shouldn't take too long to get those up. And then um, I'll get some of the milk sold, and then I'm going to get all these mowers over there, because be, by the end of this episode, I want to find out just how many million litres of grass slash hay we are going to get off of our fields I think so far, I think I'm up to about 2 million. I think the last cut, was it 2 million? I really should make a note of it each time I do it, because I can't remember. I'm sure it was about 2 million. Okay. See you in a little while. It's 7.52 in the morning. I have done all the grass around the main yard. I have done the headlands around the big field. And when I say the big field, like I said, if you're new to all this, I have now got fields 10, 9, 8, all the areas around ploughed in. That is all grassed, as you can see. 
so we're going to be doing all that now these mowers are what 10 meters 10.5 yeah something like that so 30 meters cut at a time it's still going to take quite a while <laughs> uh, milk price is up to 1990 from thousand liters and still climbing if it hits 2000 or just over i'll then start delivering the milk so i'm going to get these going first obviously you can see this is the new one um, that i've done around the main yard so uh what we'll do is we'll get a worker going in that one let's hop into that one ah oh. block by an object what objects are blocked by drop that down let's get that going there we go. Let's get this one on. Swing that over. Get that going. Let's get this one on. Get this one going. And we are off and running. Motown Gold. <laughs> Oh man, it's still, like I say, this is a lot of grass to cut. It's still going to take a long time. I I know I do this every time I'm doing anything like this, whether it's bunker silo work, whether it's grass cutting, whether it's harvesting. How much do you reckon? What do we reckon we're going to get? I have got all around the top of um, field three to do as well. That all needs to be cut all around field three. So we'll get a load more of that as well. I reckon we could be in the two and a half million mark. That'd be good if we do two and a half million. That'd be amazing. Now, obviously, this is only going to work for the first trip because once the first harvester gets in and turns round, but it's always good for those publicity shots, isn't it? <laughs> that you're going for. So again, I'll see you in a little while. Either we'll have all this grass done, or there might be a little bit of a montage or a time lapse or whatever it might be, or the milk will have gone above two thousand for a thousand liters. If it has, then we'll deliver some milk as well. We'll get that done. Um, and depending on when this post, it should be posted on Friday the 5th. I want to wish my twin daughters a happy 22nd birthday. I know they watch all of my videos. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, but anyway, yes, it's their 22nd birthday. So happy birthday to my twins, Amy and Jessica. Hope you have a lovely day. <laughs>
I'm on the smallest little strip of this one mower. The other two are doing the last strip. This field hasn't taken anywhere near as long as I thought it was going to. I really thought it was going to take ages, but I suppose three mowers running, you kind of get used to only having one set up and, you know, running three. Absolutely fantastic. Now, the mowers at the end of each row do leave a bit. So what I'm going to do while they're finishing off that small strip, I'm going to run up the ends of each of these rows and cut all this. And then I'm going to whiz over to the top of field three, up by field seven, just north of field seven. And I'm going to cut all of that. Milk has crept over. It's at 2005, I think it is. Hang on, let's just double check. 2009 for a thousand litres and still climbing. So I'm not going to touch it yet. Let's turn that off, raise that. So all we'll do is we'll let it keep running until it hits a point where you know how the sales thing works. When it when it flattens out, when it plateaus, sometimes I sell, you know, if I'm doing a harvest contract, I have got a harvest contract on field 13 actually that's active at the moment, but we'll get onto that later. Well not later in this episode, but another episode we will use the four horsemen and we'll get that um get that knocked out. Field twelve is only doing soon as well. I'm surprised it hasn't popped up actually saying that. Yeah, field 2 and field 13, but field 12 hasn't. That's been sat on the harvesting state for a little while, actually. Hmm. Odd. I'm glad that the debt's paid off, the loan's paid off. That's good. Let's drop that down. Give the double tap. Not that sort of double tap, but... Then I'll take this and I'll get straight over into field three. It's a lot of grass. I just hope I haven't miscalculated. <laughs> we end up with way less than I thought we were going to, or something silly like that. We shouldn't do. We shouldn't do. Now what I'm going to do when I collect this, I'm going to do the hay trick. Uh, again, not my trick, and the hay trick is not something specific to this map. It's something you can do on um, any map. Somebody, well, quite a few people actually suggested it. I've done it a few times during this Let's Play, but again, if you're new to the Let's Play, new to my channel, you may not be aware of it. Oh, my sunflower's ready to harvest. They are. Oh, fantastic. Uh, that'll mean another factory then, because then we can do sunflower oil. I just want to brush the side of those, I don't want to damage any. Like the car, there we go. Okay. All the mowing is complete. Just before five to nine, shelters are constructed. I've just spent a bit of time reorganising everything. Large cultivator in one end. I've left two bays, so if we want to, we can back vehicles in that way, under cover. Plows that end with the uh, New Holland smart tracks in. Two fertilizer spreaders and the lime spreader are there. I've left that end open, so the mowers, when they're all cleaned up and repaired, will go in facing sort of the way I'm facing now. Plus, I've left enough room where the fertilizers are that we can put the two lorries in this way if we want to. I'm probably going to need another, maybe smaller one for putting the trailers under, but I'll need to move the trailers out of the way first. Price of milk is still climbing, so I'm not going to touch that. What I am going to do though, is grab the loading wagon. For those of you that have seen this before, you'll just have to watch it again. <laughs> um, so the hay trick, this can be done with any loading wagon collecting device this is not specific to Eureka Farms you need to put at least 5% of the, the trailer's capacity has to be hay that has to be in here already because this is part of the original Eureka Farms map this one will hold 500,000 litres so I need to put 25,000 litres of hay in here as far as that's weird because my hay is saying 
Oh, it's because it's split between the two silos. I'm going to say, my hay says I've got 1,446,000. But according to that, only 961, so the rest of it must be in the other silo. Now, this will obviously go back in again, but... So I want 25%. No, I want 25,000. I want 5%. 5% of the total capacity, which in this case is 25,000 litres. And then what I do is when I turn on the loading wagon, and again, this is this loading wagon is from the original Eureka Farms. This is not available anymore, unfortunately, but you can do this to any loading wagon. So as soon as I turn this on now and drop it down, all that grass going in will go in as hay. So I don't have to ted it. Eureka Farms, Go Ham Industries Research and Development Division. So I've got that initial point, 1,446,272 litres of hay. So what we're going to do now is find out just how much we have cut on all my fields, including my new ones. See how far out that goes? That is absolutely madness. Madness. I'm still so gutted all this stuff got removed. We are going to get a fair amount just off the home fields, really. Swing that around slowly. You have to be fairly slow on the turns, otherwise you can miss bits, but... Now I have to be careful, because this, this can take the silage off the floor, but I think I've got enough in here at the moment from my... Um, from the cow barns. It may stutter a bit, because it will just pick up anything, so... Yeah, I think it has. Oh no, we might be alright. So we are actually taking from the other field across the road at the moment as well. Oh no, 500,000 litres already. Wow, we haven't even finished on our own fields. Right. So all of it, bar 25,000 litres, needs to go in. I'll go to the big field in a minute because I'm just I, I'll do a loop round what we reckon two and a half million three million seems a bit much maybe I would like to get three million litres from one cut that'd be amazing then tomorrow when the grass is grown again I'll do another cut and I'll just collect grass so I've got a lot of cows I need to keep going and the grass is the one thing I don't have a lot of at the moment I suppose what I could do is, I could split it half this, half hay, half grass, but the grass I've got will last me, you know, I'll be alright until tomorrow, that's for certain. Uh, oh. <laughs> Press the wrong button. Thank you for everyone's well wishes. My throat is feeling a little bit better today. It doesn't hurt as much to swallow. All the remedy advice and things that people sent, I really do appreciate that, so thank you. What I'll do is go past here first. Let's turn it on and drop it down. This is going to fill up fairly quickly. Nine o'clock in the morning, we've got a load of work done already. Yeah, look at that go. Wow. Four hundred thousand layers. <laughs> ah, love it. That's again. So that's a million liters in how many minutes? Oh, 
we'll do is keep checking every now and again the milk price. 2032 and still on the green and climbing. I'm always amazed, and I don't know why, when, I, when I'm doing a, well, whatever farm, whatever map, whatever it is I'm doing, especially if you do a kind of start from scratch-esque type thing, you know, how when you start building the farm up, after a certain amount of time, everything starts to take shape. And unless you had a very set plan in your head at the start of how you wanted your farm to look or what you were going to do or what you were going to lay out, how each farm kind of takes shape in a different way, depending on the terrain, depending on what you've got available, depending on how flat and landscaping and that kind of thing, and what you're intending to do within that kind of that farming area how it all changes I'm only doing cows you know but yeah our yard is taking shape we'll have another factory soon this is going to be a good gauge because if we get a massive amount off this when I place the next factory it's going to be on a grass bit and it doesn't matter too much if I lose a little bit of grass area if we're getting a massive amount oh hey sorry right and we'll see you when we're done and we'll work out just how much we got then hopefully before the end of the episode we'll get some milk sold And at 9.30 in the morning, all of the grass has been converted to hay, been collected, and it is now stored. What was your guess? I've done the maths on this. We have now got in storage 4,912,303 litres of hay. Did I say straw? Hay. Take off the 1,446,272 that we already had in the silo means we've just cut, converted and stored 3,466,031 litres of grass slash hay. So I know tomorrow, once that's all grown again, I need to get out and fertilise it. So I need to get the fertiliser sprayers out, the spreaders out there. That we're going to get about 3.5 million litres of grass off that this is the point i needed to be at with enough in storage of everything including grass that we can keep going for a while milk is at 2049 it's still saying green but it has really slowed down now so what i'm going to do is grab the 82 studios 48 foot it's 48 foot isn't it yeah 48 foot tanker trailer we're going to load up. Like I said, I think we're going to get two loads. I need to open that up, though. 104,000 litres. This will take 67,000 and a bit. And we'll go and sell our milk. Excellent. This may be a slightly shorter episode, um, as I said already in the episode, because my twin daughter's 22nd birthday. So we're doing some stuff um, later on this evening. Obviously, for a lot of people, the last year or so, just over. Lockdown birthdays aren't the best. Um, so we're going to have a family meal here and make some cocktails and have a few drinks. I mean, that's all we can do, but it'll be nice. 
So I've got a few things I'm going to be doing. I don't know if I'm going to be doing mod reviews today. I think mods have already dropped at this point. I think it's just gone midday. Was it 12? 12 something. Um, and I think mods have already dropped. But I don't think I'm going to have a chance to get onto them. So apologies. I think there's a new map as well. Obviously it depends when you're watching this. 67,240 litres. Let's close that down. It does look better with everything un under cover. Oh yeah, laminate boards. We have got one full and we're on to the second one. So the laminate boards are going well. Second one's underway. At some point we'll have to do a bit of a selling session. We'll get rid of a load of these sugar ones. I'll put another one of these shelters in. We've bolted it to the concrete there, that end, and into the ground here. So what we'll do is put the laminate boards under this one, sugar under that one, and we'll have to do some deliveries. And the next stop will be, yeah, like I say, sunflower. So we'll do sunflower oil. Then potentially, because I've got potatoes and sugar beet in storage, potatoes we can combine with the sunflower oil and we can do um, potato chips, maybe. I am letting the um, poplars grow again. So, yeah, I mean, I could just uh, do another big poplar harvest. I haven't just quite decided yet. And we are in the market for another field. So we're going to look for a big field. But I want to do a load of contracts to build up to that. Which one am I going this way? So, yeah, we've invested in a few of the smaller fields. I mean, I could get the... Is it field... Is it field... No, it's field 17. Field 11. Down the bottom by the transport company. I'm going to hit that 1,000 cows. But the money did fluctuate a little bit. did go a little bit weird. We were over 600,000 and then all of a sudden we're down to 580. That's because when it came to moving all the vehicles around to put them into storage under the shelters, I realised I'd put the shelters in the wrong orientation. The way I was hoping they were going to go, it didn't really work. So obviously then selling them, I lost half the money on each of them and then bought new ones. So we kind of we're out of pocket a little bit but we will make that back now on our milk great thing as well is I also now know that in another day's time after I've done the grass I can do potentially 3.5 million litres of grass straight into the silage clamps of the biogas plant I only sold a million litres last time but if we sold all 3.5 million litres it's a nice tidy income I was just thinking, should I should I keep going and run up to... If I can hire six workers at a time, should I get six harvesters? Hmm. I've certainly never done that. I don't know how the, how it would, the game would react to having six harvesters all run at the same time. We might get a bit of lag and... I don't know if it's worth a try, and it may be. We'll see. We'll see. If I do a massive silage harvest, I might do that off screen, do a big cut, put it into this clamp, compact it, and if I sell it all, that will give me enough money to buy another couple of harvesters outright, wouldn't it? Hmm. Well, wow. this is taking some time, isn't it? But we should be looking at 120,000. 120, 134. 138,000. Excellent. I think I've got almost another full load to bring up. All is going well here on Eureka Farms. I'm very happy with the progress. I'm happy with what's happening. I'm happy with the machinery. I'm smiling. It's where you need to be. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. I hope you're still enjoying the series. If you have, if you are, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. 
If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.